So my team is here to discuss the next review under the EFF program and uh, to discuss the performance under the program, the achievements that have been secured, uh, and so far we're very happy with the results of the meeting. The program is on track, the government is implementing important reforms, and we already see the results of those hard efforts in the restored macroeconomic stability. Inflation has declined even faster than what we expected, and there is more confidence also in the Surinamese dollar. The depreciation has, has stopped. Um, and the policies that the government has implemented were very politically difficult, but they showed a very strong sense of responsibility um, to keep the fiscal house in order and to implement also prudent and tight monetary policy. So very much welcome the success of both the central bank and the Ministry of Finance, in particular, in bringing about this stability. So we're now discussing the next step, what other reforms need to be implemented to also achieve uh, good growth. I think the policy implementation, building capacity, and to make sure that the public servants uh, th that are working hard is appropriately rewarded. And at the same time, the unregistered workers who are not contributing should be exited. So one of the strategies of the government is to phase out subsidies on electricity, on water, and instead to beef up the purchasing power, especially of the poor and vulnerable strata of society. And the government can, for example, start by phasing out electricity subsidies, which they have already started last year, but also especially targeting those uh, that are better off. So there is no reason to subsidize wealthy households to, uh, to, to heat up or cool off their big mansions while the rest of the population has to suffer. So the, the point is to phase out those subsidies on those goods and services while at the same time beef up and improve social protection spending.